Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Jackster, the Precursor's Legacy. This is Spiraling Helix. In the last episode, we went all the way in that direction to the Precursor Basin, which you can kind of see up there. But enough about the Precursor Basin. We're going to head down here and not get eaten by a like a shark. Okay. We're going to head over here and head to the Lost Precursor City. I've probably been getting the name wrong all this time, but there's only one way to find out, so let's go straight in. I should have said let's dive straight in, but yeah, it doesn't work if I've already said the line. Aww. Anyway though, welcome to... Uh, I said welcome to to um any time game welcome to uh, it, it's not saying it. the lost precursor city oh, thank goodness i don't know why it wasn't telling me what this place was called and uh, i'm gonna go straight to the middle okay i believe the wait where's the exit actually before i go for it okay the way forward is up so I'm gonna get these orbs, and then probably fall down. Now this is probably when the game starts to get a bit trickier. And on- and I mean that on top of the- I need to jump and spin you, there we go. I mean, like, pre the forgotten forest jungle place near Sandover Village doesn't quite count. Like, that place was way too hard for- it's level. But, yeah, this... Wait, what does this switch do? Um, switch? Oh, I, I... I forgot about them. Anyway, though. It... The game as a whole will start to pick up now. The Precursor Basin was quite easy. As it did have a green eco vent in it, you know. So it was pretty hard to fail. Anyway, blue eco up there. Opens this. Got it? Cool. And... It, Oh, the platform leaves from the other side. And actually, I might be able to just straight up jump up here. And boom! Easily done. I think you can just jump and grab onto the ledge here too, based on that height. But yes, the Precursor Basin was quite easy anyway. As you know, it only had the Zuma and a green eco vent. This time, though, we have some hardcore platforming. Lots of stuff that can hurt us. I'm probably going to die in this room. Or the next one. Anyway, when the water is green, do not go in the water. It's got electrical zappy stuff. And there's nothing down below us except a whole bunch of enemies. So let's not fall down for once in my life. And... I'm gonna smash you. And. 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 Yes, I made it! Oh, okay. Okay. I'm glad I've made it this far. I believe this is a checkpoint. Big room. Got a power cell. Multiple scout flies that aren't in the red boxes. Actually, straight up, I already see four scout flies in this room. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. Anyway, I need blue eco for over there, and there's plenty over here, so let's head over this way. By the way, with these spinning platforms, if it bounces off something, it goes in the other direction. And if you... And that's gonna bounce again, too. Darn it, that's not how I like doing this. And you're gonna bounce. This is how I like doing this, having them going in opposite directions, so that you just move across them like that. Anyway, though, I think it's best to not take that back and to just head over here with your plenty of blue eco. If, as long as you time it right, I'd time that pretty poorly and okay. I still made it. Say goodnight, Jack. No! Please don't make me activate you again. Please just be open when I get there. Please? No! Oh. Speed this up for you guys, don't worry. Anyway, though. 
it is worth noting if you get off these platforms for a while. Uh, whoa, you can grab onto them. Okay, maybe I won't speed this up then. But if you get off these platforms and don't go on them again for a bit, they will disappear from you actually. In fact, it doesn't take long for them to disappear at all, I don't think. Never mind, they're taking forever. Maybe it's based on how far away you are from them. And I could not have timed this any worse. Oh my goodness. It's okay though, we learnt that I can still make it as long as I don't die from that guy again. You can only have him when he's not all spiky, if you couldn't guess. You can, by the way, just grab the blue eco from up there though. And that saves you a trip, actually. Same with the precursor orbs, although I do believe you still want to go up there at some point. Yes, you will. I'm gonna go into the middle once the water has changed. And I almost didn't even touch the water. Also, don't touch the red stuff. Red is bad. Red is evil. I like the color green, but red is more evil than green. And green is also evil. Green is like poison evil in many things. No, I don't! Ooh. Eh, that scared me. That scared me. Honestly, I should play a horror game at some point. Because, man, these games are scary sometimes. And I mean that in a good... I don't know how I can mean that in a good way, actually. So I take that back. Anyway, we are going to want to take this platform with us over here. Even... Oh, wow, I'm good at jumping today. Even though I can just sort of take it through there. The reason why is... Where's the platform going? There you are. It's because I think I'll take care of this green one first actually when you hit these it'll flow through some pipes and appear next to its colored spot easy now that one disappears very quickly but that's not the tough one and in fact neither is this blue one to be honest but let's just make our way over this way man these are slow And that should be set up enough for me to quickly jump over. And we won't need that anymore because this power cell takes a very long journey all the way up here. Where we're actually going to be doing a bit of pl pl <laughs> platforming. Uh, why do I play platformer games when I can't even platform? Oh, they actually move back. They don't teleport. Oh. Okay. I didn't know that. Thankfully, we don't need to take these platforms all the way back. We can... I think I'll just take it as far as that scout fly right there. And speed this up, because they're so slow. And I think we have to sit through this again, don't we? Oh my goodness, I know where it's going. I mean, I guess if I looked away, that might help. But you color code it too. Anyway, let's not mess up this time. It gives you plenty of time, actually. So, you don't really need to worry as long as you don't fall down. If you fall down, you, it's obviously gonna reset because there's no easy way back up. But there we go! Power cell number one? Was that number two? Um... Wait, is that one or two? That's gotta be one. I've... I'm clearly paying attention, guys. Anyway, though, through here, already see another power cell. But I'd like to get these orbs first. 
By the way, these platforms are flip over alternate. That's why I'm not jumping to the next one yet. There we go. And one more. Also, look at that dark eco. It actually looks quite nice. Like, I wouldn't mind taking a bath in some dark eco if it looks that nice. And the texture is also, like, weird. And these guys are so annoying. They kind of spin around randomly, not even towards you. Wait, why is there a... Hold on a minute. And um, don't jump in there, that'll kill you. Why is there a metal box here? What? There, there's metal boxes in here they destroy? I never knew that. Anyway, we're going to go this way first. And there are these underwater turbines that kind of draw you into where they are. But you should be fine. I never knew that there were metal boxes there that they destroyed. How about we take it easy on those hard pipes? <clears throat> Speaking of taking a bath in the dark eco, maybe if I'm still alive and wow those guys, I'm not taking that risk. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Said, don't kill me! Go. Alright! See what I mean about these guys? Okay, they do stop spinning. I guess that's when it's best to kill them. And oh, these stop spinning too. Everything stops spinning. Even I stop spinning when I touch the dark eco. Okay then. Let's do, do this properly. For once. Okay, made it this far, let's not hit the vent, and let's not go into Dark Eco. And give me the orb, thank you. Now these platforms, when I stand on one, it'll turn blue. And please die, okay, thank you. However, if I touch one I've already stood on, it will turn back. Also, I believe if you leave it too long, they will turn back too. But if you stand on all of them once... That's right, the door opens revealing! You guessed it. You can already see it. What am I talking about? A power cell! Yeah! 50 power cells! Oh my goodness, guys, we're going amazing! I believe we're halfway through the game, actually. There's, what, 100 power cells? Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I think there's a hundred and one power cells. And technically I don't need to touch the water here, but I don't trust myself. Yep, that's why I don't trust myself. That's actually... <laughs> that is actually a pretty precise roll jump if you want to go for it. But up there we have a power cell and we have a door there. One of these things is not like the other, though. For instance, this... No, I'm dead. Okay. Gotta go fast. That's right, I say fast. Not fast or fast. Fast. Anyway, no precursor orb. That's not a precursor orb. That's a power cell. And look at the fishies. There's fishies out there and you can actually see where we came from. That's what I love about older games like this. You can see, like the attention to detail. Like, you can see other locations that you visit- Oh my goodness! I got the power cell! Let's not take damage from these guys, then. Thank you! Okay. I can get in the middle and wait a bit. I'm gonna make it. Anyway, we're heading down that tube now. Which is actually a bit of an interesting tube. By the way, that door. You can't actually go in it, plus there's no way up. Sliding down here, though, we have a slide. No speeding up or slowing down, except maybe doing jumps. 
Avoid the dark eco, you can break these tough boxes now as you're sliding. You can jump over the dark eco boxes. Don't worry too much if you miss any of those precursor orbs. We will be coming back down there in a little bit. Anyway though, in here we have many of these weird switches that we can activate with blue eco. And they simply run on a timer where like they'll deactivate if you leave them running for too long. Like this one here is already deactivated. That I... No, I just forgot to do it. But this one deactivated. And... Yes! yes. Okay. I was kind of worried the other one would deactivate. Don't go in there yet, though. That is going to be our way out of this place. So... Let this... There's so many of them. Run! Was... Wait. Was there another way this way? No, there wasn't. Okay. We're heading through here. I'm gonna get zapped. Every time. But, gotta get this, Scout Fly. Oh my goodness! How did I not die? And, that's all seven Scout Flies. Like, we're going pretty good. Sadly, here's the worst part. We have another slide. If you miss Precursor Orbs, you may as well just, like, go as far as you can and then die. Actually, maybe even don't go all the way to the bottom, it might be a checkpoint. But just be careful. Try and get all the precursor orbs. I'm pretty sure I said power cells last. That's, that's, uh, that's so similar. They both begin with P. I mean, that's all there is to it. But yeah, if you get all of these in one run, then that's very good. And like... Hard to do, actually, and I, I did it! If you didn't do that, then jump in the dark eco down here. Because... Before you grab this power cell. Because getting... Like, that means you have to come all the way back down. However, getting this power cell does something. I got a bad feeling about this. Right, Dax Daxter said it best, and quickly, and loud. Let's run, Jack, run! Be careful, there are pr some lurkers over here. Keep in mind, you're sped up, like your increased speed with the blue eco is, like, doesn't carry over to your second jump, it only carries over to a single jump. So if you want to make some of these jumps, actually only do the single jump. Anyway, there should be more Blue Eco right here. And with that, I believe we're... S no, we're not safe. We are not safe. And this platform is not being nice. I believe it all runs on a timer based on when you press the switch. So when you die, it might actually be a bit different. And that Dark Eco can actually catch up to you if you don't keep moving. But I seem to be doing okay. That's every... Precursor Orb, and that brings us up here safely. Not only do we get a Power Cell for activating that, no, we get a Power Cell for escaping. Oh yeah. And you can probably guess where this door leads. That's right, we're back in this room. That's why I said don't worry too much about this slide, as we are heading back down it. Right now. As you can clearly see. But now is the time to head inside that weird dome thing that we opened up. If I can make it down there without dying and make it in without this guy killing me. Okay, and hitting this switch will actually bring us back to the surface along with this power cell. And all we have to do now is... Wow! You raised a piece of the underwater ruins to the surface! It seems you can use eco in ways we've never seen before! A power cell surfaced with the room! Climb up there and get it! Thank you, Kira, so much for letting me know. 
that I'm already going up there. Anyway, that is every precursor orb around this place. This jump is a lot harder to do than it looks. But with that, boom! That is the Lost Precursor City complete! Next up, the swamp over there to take out that flying dirigible thing that old man Samos was talking about. So with that, this has been Spiraling Helix. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.